Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome to episode 28 of our Kansas Rebuild. In this episode, we are going to go and play Oklahoma State. But first, let's look at the team news. After a great win against TCU, Desmond Daniels, it looks like a cornerback. He is an athlete. Cornerback, 79 overall, has committed to our team. So good job on that. Taylor Morgan, the center, also committing. And looks like we got Ray Foster and Joe Barr both on the defensive line and Mike Jackson, the middle linebacker we've been going after, looks like he has committed as well. So we're off to a good start with recruiting and we're gonna have a lot of recruiting points. So that being said, let's go ahead and look at what the recruits we have left. We have Jason Gray, who we, we unlocked last time and gained a lot of points, 17, 35 points. Uh, week 14 is after this one. We are currently in week 13. So after this week, next week, Jason Gray will be able to show up. And it looks like we got a lot out of the game we played. 700 for Travis Smith for showing up. So he it looks like he's pretty much locked on us at this point after week 12 against TCU. Chris Wright. 77 overall punter looks like he might be coming to us just because he's the only one and we ran into a problem with Adam Jackson He has now locked us out So what we got for our recruits Andre Oliver a 69 overall cornerback the speeds a little low, but I think He's going to be a good corner or we could even drop him at savvy safety Austin Crooks 76 overall defensive tackle and TJ McNair 73 overall strong safety. We've had those guys for a while Steve Spurlock we got a few weeks ago or last week. I don't remember this week We got Mike Jones 62 overall middle linebacker 66 overall center Taylor Morgan Athlete Desmond Daniel 79 overall which they showed him at corner and after looking at his stuff He might be a good corner um Man coverage 86, zone coverage 88, press 82, speed 92. So this guy is pretty much a complete athlete. Uh, looking at his throwing power, throwing accuracy, he could be a quarterback, he could be a wide receiver, all that stuff. Joe Barr also decided to commit. He's a 65 overall defensive end, and Ray Foster, 65 overall defensive tackle. Going on to the top 25 polls, Oregon up to number one, Ohio State at number two, UL Lafayette. Yes, you saw that right. UL Lafayette, 9-0, 4-0 a conference, which their conference isn't very good. They're an 84 overall, but they are up to number three as they are still unbeaten. Texas, who was number three, is down to number four this week at 8-1 with their only loss coming to yours truly, Kansas University. Texas Tech coming in at number four. They used to be in the Big 12. However, they are in the SEC now, and they are 9-1. USC, Ole Miss, Notre Dame. South Carolina and Iowa. So we have Texas in the top 10 for the Big 12. Arizona in at number 11 after they lost to Oregon. Florida, Tennessee, Oklahoma, Nebraska, Louisville. So Oklahoma in there in the top 20. Kansas at 19. So we got three teams in the Big 12 right now in the top 20. Let's go down to the top 25 and see how many more Big 12 teams make it in right now. There's only three. We got the win against TCU. We are at number 19. I don't think we can lose another one and not drop out of the top 25. Kansas State in at 22. Texas Tech in at 23. We've beaten K-State. Uh, we lost against Texas Tech, I believe. So, you know, they all deserve to be there. But this week, we are playing Oklahoma State, who is not in the top 25. We are the same overall level. They are a better offensive team. They are 5-4, and 3-3 three and three in the Big 12. We are 6-3 and 3-3 three and three and three in the Big 12. Looking at Oklahoma State, they 27 points a game. They are 70th in the nation, so we like seeing that. We are still third at 43.6. Also looks like a few visiting prospects are going to be coming to today's game, including the running back that we're trying to get. I think his name is like Marquette, maybe. Um... But we're trying to get him. He's coming to today's game. This is a home game. I said last episode we're going to Oklahoma State. This is a home game. Oklahoma State is coming to Memorial Stadium. Let's see who wins. 
glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Live at Memorial Stadium in Lawrence, Kansas. Excitement is in the air. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste at zero calories. Enjoy everything. And we are ready to get this game started. Oklahoma State starting with the balls, rolling up the middle, right up the middle. Nobody even wanting to stop him. Here comes rolling again, breaking two tackles in the backfield, breaking another one short, finally grabs him, but not able to bring him down. Breaks about six tackles on that run. We are finally able to bring him down. Third and six for Oklahoma State. Not able to get the first down, but there is a flag on the play. Roughing the passer is the call. That's 15 yards on Miles, and that will be a first down. So Oklahoma State, first and 10 from about the 15-yard line. Walsh back to throw. He's going to scramble, run it in. Walsh with the touchdown. Oklahoma State starts 7-0 to zero with a run from Walsh. Nobody knew he could run, but he runs right up the middle, not even touched until he gets into the end zone. So the Cowboys with the kickoff here. Let's see what Mills can do. Mills, 44-yard return. Great start after coming off the injury last week at TCU. If you watched last week's episode, make sure you go back and watch it because it was a great episode. If you did watch it, you know what I'm talking about. Bourbon up the middle for 17 yards here. We're already on Oklahoma State side. Heaps is back in at quarterback. Last week we had to make a change, but he is in right now at quarterback. Heaps back to throw. He's going to throw it and going to be knocked down. Almost intercepted by the defense. Fourth and five, we are able to kick the field goal. It is up and good by Brown, the freshman kicker. 7-2-3 is your score. Oklahoma State looking to score here. Shepard with the first down. Keep the ball moving for the Cowboys. First and 10, got movement to the left side. Miles over there, looks like a screen pass, but Miles not able to get Curry until after he's caught the ball. Huge first down for Oklahoma State. Defense not looking good yet. Pass to Hayes on the left side, wide open. Seems the corners are not able to keep up with the speed of the Oklahoma State. Wide receivers, Miles covering it, but he's not covering the guy coming across seals with the touchdown. 12 yards coming right under where Miles was setting in the zone. That's going to be a touchdown for Oklahoma State, taking a 14 to 3 lead right under where Miles was setting. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Heaps with the pitch to Mills. Mills trying to make it go, and he's off to the races. Not going to get the touchdown, but he's going to get a big gain there, setting the offense up in good position. Heaps back to pass. Fumbles recovered, and we are back to the turnover ways that Heaps likes to play. Turnover number one. He just fumbles. I fumbles. Oklahoma State gets the ball. Third and two for Oklahoma State. Can they get the first down? The pass, and he gets it. Pushed out of bounds. First down, Oklahoma State. First and 10 for Walsh, looking for a touchdown. He's going to get it with Curry here on the right side. Oklahoma State taking an early 21-3 lead. Normally, I would be a little upset. I mean, I am a little upset, but I know after last week when TCU had us down and out, 35-10, to 10, I believe, was the score, and we came back and won. I'm not really upset about a 23 to 21 to 3 lead. I know we can come back. However, Heaps trying to make that very difficult with another turnover. One for four, five yards, an interception, and a fumble. I'm wondering how how much we can trust Heaps. Roland going to run this one in. Now I'm starting to get a little upset. 28-3 to three is the score. And guess what? We're still not out of the first quarter. So the turnover by Heaps, we're going to give him one last chance, see what he can do with it. 
and an interception by Jones and heaps is done for today because I'm done with his turnovers now three turnovers in the first quarter two interceptions and a fumble and we're down 35 to 3 so now I don't know if we can come back from 35 to 3 we came back from 35 to 10 against TCU but 35 to 3 is going to be difficult and heaps is done I'm going directly to Cozart because Cozart pretty much carried us last game so let's see what he can do this game Cozart with the pitch to Mills Mills gets the outside shoved out of bounds after 17 yards Cozart back to pass here looking throwing and intercepted oh no four turnovers in the first quarter telling you I, I'm, I'm tired of it Cummings gonna come in for Cozart I can't can't keep doing these turnovers defense able to stop him after a sack 35 to 3 is your score looking to make it 38 to 3 but Oklahoma State not able to make that field goal Kansas and pretty good field goal or pretty good field position here Cummings able to get away from the sack gonna scramble right good inside to run it out of bounds after a 12 yard gain and a first down for Cummings first and 10 for Cummings option gives it to Mills Mills looking is he gone shoved out at about the five yard line so Mills able to get a 43 yard gain on the play first and goal Bourbon trying to run it in and he does Bourbon with a rushing touchdown score 10 to 35 Defense, can we get a stop here? Mills up. Sendish not able to cover Curry. First down for Oklahoma State. Miles, look at the blitz here. The blitz causes Walsh to go out. He's going left. Going to get a couple blocks. Going to shove a guy. First down for Walsh. Finally able to run. Able to stop them on third down. Fourth and four. Oklahoma State is not going to miss this field goal. Going up 38 to 10. Mills deep in his end zone. Here comes the call. He's to the 10. At the 30. The 50. Inside the 30. The 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Boy, is this kid electric. 109 yards 107 yards used to be the old record by Mills set two weeks ago now sets a new one with a 109 yard kickoff return if he doesn't get return of the year then the system is a fluke Albert Mills for sure the returner of the year trying to make a case for Heisman miles on defense trying to get a stop here not able to get his seals with the first down here Defense not looking good. Usually the defense makes a few stops, but here's Seals again on the left side for 23 yards. He's up over 100 yards easy. Walsh going to give it to Roland. Roland's going to easily get it in the end zone for a touchdown. Oklahoma State 45, Kansas 17. Two minutes and counting. Cummings looking, throws it deep. Going to be intercepted. Five interceptions in the first half right now. Another interceptions from Cummings. Isn't I, I don't know what to do at this point. Oklahoma State. The defense the defense is able to stop running, and when Oklahoma State turned to the run game here, we stopped them on defense. They got you know three points. They got six points the last two times of having the ball, so we're okay with that. Cummings just throwing it deep, able to find Pearson deep. 49 yard reception for Pearson. That's his first reception of the game. And the offense just looks awful, but it's it's a little bit of light, I, I guess. Pearson, 49 yards, his first catch of the game. Comes one minute left in the first half. 10 seconds left in counting. Bourbon gonna get the rush carry here. And the touchdown, that's his second of the game. Kansas, 28-17. to 
24, Oklahoma State 48. That is your halftime score. And we got a lot of work to do on Kansas side. Coming out the second half, coming still our quarterback gives it to Mills. Can Mills make this guy miss? No. Thrown out, third and two. Second and two here for Cummings. He's going to take it himself after the halfback gets taken out. He's going to run it out of bounds for a first down after 11 yards on the carry. Cummings again. Going to keep this one. Find the right side. Is he gone? Down at the one-yard line after a 30-yard rush from Cummings. Can we get it in the end zone? Cummings to throw. Chase the catch. Looks like the corner just didn't turn his head. Did not know the ball was coming. Chase a beautiful route. Yeah, the defender just never saw the ball. Touchdown for Chase. Touchdown for Cummings. After going for two, not able to make it, so the score is 30 to 48. And number 25 gonna make it count on that rush. 38 yards for the first down. Oklahoma State in zone. Gideon touchdown, increasing the lead. Because we are offsides, the penalty is going to be declined. Now that's going to put the score at 55 to 30. Very, very gleamful here. Pearson getting some yards, helping his statistics. Cummings over the middle to McCray. Second and two, Cummings back. Scrambling. I'm gonna throw it chase with a beautiful catch over the middle eight yards for chase trying to get something going here Cummings gonna give it to Mills Mills gonna take it to the house 37 more yards for Mills he's having another great day just like he has every single time on the field the only reason he's not being looked at as Heisman is KU is not winning two-point conversion is good to Pearson 55 38 is your score Kansas defense looking for a stop here Stowers trying to get through the line an interception off a bobble from the wide receiver and not actually sure how he caught this let's take a look at the instant replay and see if we know how he caught this it looks like he just bobbled it and off the face mask and into the arms of the defender I mean I'm not honestly sure how this happened but we'll take it turnover is a turnover we'll take it however it comes defense with a big turnover here can Kansas offense make it count Pearson wide open over the middle with the catch and run of 22 yards we are in the red zone once again Kansas looking to score here third and four got to get something going here wide open pass to Pearson at another one Pearson 20 touchdown receptions this year look at the set records doing a great job we still got multiple weeks left in the season he's already set the record for 20 reception touchdowns in a season for KU seals with a jump over the middle this is a 10 point game now Oklahoma State back to passing, no longer throwing. Stout Stowers, oh for the, oh man, he's reading those zones like a book. He's reading the screens like an absolute book. Another interception from Stowers. He had one a couple weeks ago on the same exact play. Gets another one here, setting offense up for good. Pearson with the catch. Boys and girls, 10-point game, six minutes left in the fourth quarter driving it looks like this is going to be another TCU game can we come back and win it Cummings over the middle of Pearson Pearson another catch inching closer to the touchdown second and one Cummings over the middle of chase 51 to 55 the extra points gonna be good we got a three-point game with about five minutes left to go in the fourth quarter the offense has come back after the after not having turnovers. It's amazing not getting turnovers. How that happens, you start winning. Stowers trying to get through. Walsh 
gonna make the first down at the third and five. We needed that. That is a huge play. Another third down. Roland able to get a first down now. Inching closer. We have to get a stop. We had two chances on third down. We're not able to get the stop. Walsh gonna get this one in. Under two minutes left. Down by 10 now. Kansas offense has to score and score quickly. They have all three timeouts so they can stop them on defense, but they have to score here. The throw over the middle is going to be intercepted by Johnson. That's going to be the game. Six turnovers by Kansas. Five interceptions, one fumble. Sometimes you just can't. I'm going to go back to this play at third and five. This was the play of the game. If he makes that stop there, it's a completely different game. Kansas falls by 10, 62 to 52. Cummings, 15 to 21, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Heaps throws two picks. And I mean, just look at that number, 193 yards rushing. Pearson, 135 yards and a touchdown for him. Chase, two touchdowns with only three receptions and 14 yards. Not enough. Defense, 13 solo tackles by Sindish, 12 by McDonald. Still not enough to get us the win. The defense did not play well. The offense with six turnovers. Absolutely awful. It's hard to even comprehend at this point, honestly. Mills with that huge, long, 109-yard record-breaking return. Still not enough to get us the win this week. We might drop out of the top 25, sad to say, but losing two teams that are lower in the Big 12 is not going to help that ranking. Six turnovers compared to two for Oklahoma State. Matt Straw broke the camel's back. That is the reason we lost. I'm not happy with it. I mean, Albert Mills had a great day. 12 carries, 193 yards, three receptions, two total touchdowns, but just not enough now i want to bring this to your attention we just upgraded to level 15. normally i don't show you guys these things but upgrading gives us an upgrade skill now if you remember right we got locked out of jason gray we unlocked him which means we are out of unlockables but we now have an upgrade we're gonna upgrade to level two on our locksmith giving us another unlock for this year which, if you remember, I Adam locked us out this week. So, you know what, Adam Jackson? Let's go ahead and unlock you and open the door for us to recruit him. Get a boost, and we're gonna take we're gonna take some points from other recruits. Try to get those 500 points back, and then we're gonna unlock the recruit Adam Jackson. Unlock him. Boom. Up the second already. Let's give him 500 points on top of it. And let's go out and get us a tackle for next year. We're still looking to get Jason Gray next year. We unlocked him as well. Jumped up to second place for him. Next week, we will be playing Iowa State. So make sure you guys hit that red subscribe button so that you can come back next week, Saturday, as these are all posted. And watch the game against Iowa State. It's going to be a season to remember. If we can be Iowa State, we're going to be a good spot for the Big 12 Championship. If you guys like this episode, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next week. Till next time, Slacker out.